this video, we will talk about how to set up an ATS-48 soft start for your standard basic uh, first time programming. Uh, keep in mind that we're not going to go into detail about how to program your relays um, or your other functions, but just simple programming. Okay. So from a first power up in your main menu, you want to go ahead and press the down arrow key and you want to start by going into the set menu set press enter on here the first parameter is in you want to enter on that and this is your motor full load amps your actual motors current rating so you want to adjust that value according to what your motor nameplate specifies and when you are adjusted the value enter on that to save it it will blink once once that's done, you can escape back to IN and scroll down into the ACC parameter, which is uh, your ramp up time. And um, you can make this whatever you like. Normally, for certain applications, you don't want to have too long of a ramp up time, but you don't want to have a second or two of ramp up time either. So you want to make sure you pick a range that best fits your application. Normally around 10 is your default value here in most cases. Again, just like last time, you can go ahead and uh, adjust the value and then enter on it to save it and it will blink once as well like last time. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, the next parameter I would go to, actually we skipped ILT. I would go there next uh, after IN actually. ILT is your current limitation. From the factory, it's set to 400%. So this is the, how much of an inrush you're going to experience at initial startup, okay? And 400 is default. Um, in some heavy duty applications where if it's severe duty and you need a lot of torque, uh, I've seen where that can be adjusted above 400 if necessary. Um, but again, be careful about adjusting, adjusting it too high. Um, the motor has to be able to withstand that much of a duty rating. But that's the current limit regardless. The next parameter in this list you want to look for is actually um, another menu altogether. So escape back to set and scroll down to DRC, enter, and then find the parameter CLP, Charlie, Larry, Paul, enter. Okay, so this CLP parameter is basically a torque control parameter, meaning that if it's turned on, the soft start is actually trying to modulate the torque based upon what the motor is calling for. If you turn it off, which is what is sometimes beneficial, it basically allows the soft start to follow the actual ramp up time as we have programmed, which is right now 10 seconds in my own soft start, but it's going to follow your actual acceleration time. So. Um, that's beneficial in some applications such as fans or low torque applications. You want to let it run based upon the actual voltage to fr frequency ratio and not necessarily the soft starts torque modulation. For heavier torque though, um, that's kind of up to the application. But that's basically how you program an ATS-48 soft start. Again, we're not going over every single setting in this soft start. There's a lot of things we didn't look at, like your, your relay assignments, uh, your logic output assignments, etc. So um, if you need any help with those kind of configurations, please see our other FAQs that are available online.